I'm not sure I should say it on YouTube, but I'm going to show you my dirty bits. These actually aren't that bad. Of course, they just get some pitch built up. Maybe they've been run through some plywood or some kind of sappy wood or whatever, and they get some um, uh, stuff uh, built up on them. So I wanted a way to conveniently clean the bits. Um, I found some bottles on Amazon. You actually have to buy 24 of them at a time. Um, one thing I like is that they're big enough to fit that 16 millimeter bit. That's the biggest bit I regularly use on the CNC. The bit cleaning station I'm going to show you uses only five bottles, so I've got a bunch of extras. I'm going to give away a bit cleaning station. Stick around to the end and I'll tell you how to enter. I use this stuff as bit cleaner. Um, I don't know if there's a better one. Uh, this one seemed to work okay. I'll show you later on the video. Um, so what you do is you just pour some of the bit cleaner in each bottle. Um, I've got four of them full of bit cleaner and one empty, and I'll show you why I need an empty as part of this bit cleaning station in a little while. And uh, you can see there's going to be room for my brass brush on the bit cleaning station. Um, it's going to go up on a French cleat, so it'll have a little back so the cleat can attach, and then uh, the board goes on top to line the bottles up. The bottom's three quarters, the top is half inch, uh, the back is half inch, and of course there's a, a three quarter inch French cleat. So those are the four parts for the bit cleaning station, um, along with, of course, the little bottles. To um, mill this, I just did a CNC file. I, I think anybody who wants this probably has a CNC. That's how the bits get dirty. There is a link in the description if you want to get that CNC file. Um, it is no big deal. Once you see this thing, you'll uh, see it's pretty obvious how to make it on your own. So my CNC is the Shaper Origin handheld uh, CNC router. Um, here I'm cutting the little uh, hole for the brush and I'm just test fitting it to make sure I've made that hole big enough. I didn't really measure it in advance, so I had to fiddle with it a little bit. Uh, and now I'm uh, just um, milling out uh, the spot for the um, for each bottle. It's got to have a little indentation where the bottle sits in the bottom of the bit cleaning station. And I'm just going around and milling those five uh, indentations. I think I used a quarter inch router bit. You could really use just about anything on it. I'm using the workstation for the Shaper Origin to cut it. That's a very convenient way to cut relatively small things. Here's the top. The holes are cut through. They're kind of ragged from the upcut uh, router bit I was using. So I'm going to make a little chamfer with a, a 45 degree bit. Um, and, you know, that's going to clean those up. I have to Z-touch the router, um, you know, to make sure I don't go too deep. And I'm just putting, I don't know, I think I went down six one hundredths of an inch or something on these little um, chamfers. I just have to go around each uh, circle to clean that up. The Shaper Origin uses those um, domino-looking uh, pieces on the workstation to orient itself. Um, there's also tape you can use if you have a big project that, that you know, won't fit on this workstation. I use a block plane to take off the sharp edges. Don't want to get splinters. The assembly is pretty straightforward. Um, this is, uh, I'm putting some glue on the bottom so I can put the back uh, onto the bottom. Um, the bottom's three quarters, the back is half inch. I'm just going to use some uh, nails to put that on. I keep my uh, nail gun right at the um, assembly table and my airline is right at the assembly table as well. That's the top. The way this thing is designed, the um, holes for the top and bottom line up. So the top is actually a bit wider because it goes on top of the back and, and that makes the holes line up. And you'll see it when I put the whole thing together. The bottles just drop right on there. For the cleat, um, I drove in some nails. I think they were inch and a quarter nails. And so as long as I had the nails lined up with the top, I could drive them all the way through. 
but as you'll see, I wanted to put a couple more nails on the cleat, and they were too long. Um, you know, if I strayed to the middle of the cleat, so after I put in some of these big nails, I actually got out my little um, um, uh, 23 gauge pinner and flipped the thing over and threw some pins in on the other side. It'll show it in just a second here. Here I am just discovering, oh no, those are too long. Do I have any shorter nails for that nailer? No, I don't. They're all the same. So let's get the pinner out and uh, just drive in some pins from the other direction where the three quarter inch pins are going through the half inch backer material into the cleat. It's probably all overkill. I probably don't need that at all. This thing is super light. It would have held on without these pins, but um, better to keep it from falling apart. This is a nicer French cleat than I often make. You know, this one is actually Baltic birch plywood. A lot of times I just use whatever scrap I've got laying around, um, but I had some nice plywood. There it is all together. Um, so uh, that can go up and sit on the French cleat and the bits can rest overnight uh, in the bit cleaner solution. Hopefully that'll make them a bit easier to clean off. So when I bring it down, I'll scrub those things around and they, they come pretty clean, you'll see. So if you'd like one of these, I'm going to give away uh, one or two of them. Uh, to enter it, all you've got to do is subscribe to my station. I don't have very many subscribers. I'll notice you if you subscribe and leave a comment um, saying that you want the bit cleaning station. If I get um, fewer than 10 entrants, that means separate people who leave a comment, I will make one of these and give it away to one person randomly selected. If I get more than 10 entrants, I'll actually make two and give two away to randomly selected entrants. So what I'm going to give away is the unassembled bit cleaning station. You will get the four pieces of Baltic birch all ready for you to glue and nail together. You'll get the five bottles and a little brush. I think the brush I'm going to give you is slightly different than the one I show. Um, and it's up to you to buy your own bit cleaning fluid. If you do comment and you've got a better bit cleaning fluid than that um, CMT orange stuff, let me know. I, I thought that was okay. I, I didn't think it was great. Um, it, it, you know, got some of the gook off the bits, but, you know, some of the bits were still a little bit dirty after soaking overnight. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. I would appreciate that. I would appreciate any subscriptions as well. Um, stay tuned for more workshop improvements to come in the following weeks. Thanks very much. Bye.